Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to share this video with you and it's just just for consideration you know for that blessed hope that we're waiting for. Well some people you know that it's going to be the ninth of all. Well that'd be great but this if you know Roddy 61169 now this is not a prophecy this is something that through study he has found out and maybe some of it he got from others I don't remember exactly but he has um, put together a, little, a short video of 10 minutes 40 seconds for your consideration on the 15th of Av. Why the 15th of Av? What is what's so special about the 15th of Av? Well if you don't know it happens to be to be off. Have you heard of to be off? This is equivalent to Valentine's Day in Israel, where it has been actually, uh, what what they call it, re um, started doing it again, and it's showing some women are in white wedding dresses. They look like wedding dresses. Other women are just dressed in dance clothing, and it's back in the day when it was started, uh, it was single women would go out in the grapevines, in the vineyards, and dance among the, the new uh, new crop, I guess. How did he put it? New, new fruit. I don't know if you'd equate that to first fruit. He didn't use that term, but it, but it, he used the word new, new wine, something like that. Anyway, I just thought it just it just made me smile. And like, well, maybe you know, maybe that's the day. You know, so if it doesn't happen the ninth of all. We'll look forward to the 15th, and if it doesn't happen then, it'll be soon after. It can't be much longer, brothers and sisters, do you think? So much is coming. So much is prophesied. A lot is being leaked. If you saw my video yesterday, the last one I put up, or I think I only put one yesterday, but anyway, it had three videos in one. You might want to go back and just look in the description box and click on the link for the third one. And you'll see what I'm talking about that things are going to get hot and heavy this fall. So what Pastor Dana and several others have confirmed looks like it's going to happen. It, so it's not only been leaked from government sources it's also been prophesied through some of God's messengers so the rapture or what some are calling transformation and I think it's the same thing it's we're taken out the babies and the infirm I don't know the infirm they're gonna get brand new bodies they're gonna get brand new minds they could be they could get an armor of pearl as one person dreamed of it that our armor looks like pearl I mean who knows what it'll be made of but we come back down to help those we actually are coming to harvest the wheat okay I see us bringing people back from the dead reattaching limbs healing uh, if they get that virus, whatever it is, we heal them from it and stop people from taking the vaccine and all this stuff. It's going to be amazing. And it just takes faith to believe it. If you don't believe it, you may not get it. Okay? So, remember, faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so if you saw it already if you had your own vision or dream it'd be real easy to believe it right especially if you saw it in real life 
or you had such a vivid vision it was like being there, it'd be easy to believe. It takes great faith to believe it when you haven't had that. And maybe that's why I haven't had a vision or a dream of any of this. I only dream... Uh, my dreams have been personal in nature. And then there was the one about the division of the church where we all started out together. And then there was a dividing and half the group went this way and half went that way. And then there was another dividing and half the group... I remember it plainly. And at the very end, there was three or four of us going one way. Out of all those people that we started out hiking, it was like a church hike group. Uh, went to this park to go hiking. It was kind of like that. A church group ended up at some place where we were going to go hiking. And I remember it like I dreamed it last night. And the other one was when I dreamed before the Supreme Court ruled that homosexuality was going to be that be allowed to be legally, they could be legally married. I dreamed that I married my old girlfriend from high school, from junior high. Neither one of us are gay. We're both married. We were just doing it because everybody else was doing it. And I remember her dress being like tight-fitting and, and simple, but down to the ground. And mine was all fluffy and flirty and, you know, the big skirt that goes way out and all ruffly, you know. That's the kind of person she is. That's the kind of person I am. But we anyway, I remember that dream absolutely so clearly. And that was a dream from God showing, yes, the Supreme Court is going to vote yes on that and make uh, legalize um, homosexual marriage. And sure enough, it was voted yes. Well, anyway, I don't know how I got off on that. I just wanted to share this little video with you. So I'm going to end this here. And I'll say I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.